series of video lectures looking at intelligence. We are looking at the IQ test first of all, but think about it, turn to a neighbor. What is intelligence? How would you define this capacity, this thing, this ability? Psychometric view, that's the view we are going to look at first of all. Psycho means of the mind or of the psyche. Metric, you are measuring. So psychometric is measuring or quantifying the psych or some aspect of the mind, putting numbers to things, measuring the mind, using numbers to describe a cognitive capacity. Once upon a time in a land far away, France, there was a fellow named Alfred Benet. You've heard of the Stanford Benet IQ test, maybe. The French Minister of Education came to Mr. Benet one day and said, can you help us identify those students who are unable to learn in public schools. We don't want to waste our resources on them, said he. So if we can identify them up front, we can put them in special schools so we can focus our resources on those who benefit from education. He developed the first IQ test. Now this test, as are most IQ tests today, use questions or problems that look at logical thinking. They are essentially logical thinking puzzles. It seems as if tests are the answer for all the problems in education. Editorial aside, not. More testing does not mean more learning. Anyway, the modern IQ test. We had this nice standard of a distribution of scores where we compare people across the same age and category. So if it is a normal distribu distribution, here is a normal population. This is average, 50% are above, 50% are below, 68% are right in this average uh, spot. By, but by the way, did you know there is a school in Minnesota where half the students are below average? Where could that be? every school. If it's average, by definition, you're going to have half below and half above. This is the bell-shaped curve. By looking at thousands of test scores, you get this. An IQ test or any test, achievement test, that looks at a standard distribution or compares you to a norm, they are comparing you to a normal population. So, these are test scores that compare a person's scores to the general population. They describe you, uh, you, you in terms of your distance from absolute average. When they say you are 100 IQ, that is average, 115, 130, your distance from average, and the other way. All right? So anytime they look at standard distribution, they're usually looking at describing you in terms of how far you fall away from average. Now, here are some outdated categories, but categories of IQ and, and uh, terms they use to describe the categories. This is used just to give you a sense. And yes, some of these categories are a little bit offensive, but I want to show you what is. And again, this is average. This is right in the middle of that bell-shaped curve. There you see the normal IQ uh, uh, curve. This is 100, which is average. Scores above, scores below. And again, some outdated ways of classifying. You can see these are not very happy categories, and that's why they're not used today. Outdated and offensive. And when I see these categories, of course, I'm reminded of the Three Stooges videos because they use these terms with each other a lot. But I didn't know until a couple of years ago that these terms actually came from something. This was a scientific classification at one time, like back in the 20s and 30s. Another bit old history. This is how they used to describe students or people with developmental cognitive disabilities. This is how they were classified. If you had the cognitive level, you were an adult here, that was the term, cognitive level, that was the term, level, term, level, term, level, term, you get the idea. Not very happy. Outdated terms. And this is from an actual journal. I made a copy. You'll see the categories. And again, this idea of intelligence is 
not only limiting, but it assumes that intelligence is one thing falling on a straight line and you're either more of it or less of it. That is a very antiquated way of thinking or knowing uh, about intelligence, and I certainly would have a category, if I weren't more enlightened, for people who have this view of intelligence. Intelligence is not one thing. We do not know what it is, but in the old days we tried to put numbers to things and we thought, since it's a number and a category, it must exist. End part two.